good afternoon all so in the last session we have discussed about interference microscopy today we are going to discuss polarization microscope or polarizing microscope this polarized light it is a contrast enhancing technique that improves the quality of image which are obtained with bifringent materials when compared to other techniques such as dark field bright field differential interference contrast phase contrast hoffman modulation contrast and fluorescence so among these methods polarized light is a contrast enhancing technique to observe bifringent materials so this bifringence it means an op it is an optical property of the material having a refractive index that depends on the polarization and propagation direction of light so this optically anisotropic materials are said to be bifringent so bifringent it is optical property of materials having refractive index and that refractive index depend upon the polarization and propagation of direction of light now the polarized light microscopes have a high degree of sensitivity and can be utilized for both quantitative and qualitative studies which are targeted at a wide range of anisotropic specimens so what do you mean by anisotropy anisotropy is nothing but it is a property of a substance to show variation in the physical properties along different molecular axis so in each and each molecular axis these substances show different different physical properties such substances are called anisotropic substances next is the quality so we have already discussed that polarizing microscope used for both qualitative and quantitative aspects of study but among them qualitative polarizing microscopy it is very popular in practice with numerous volumes dedicated to the subject in contrast quantitative aspects of polarized light microscopy which is primarily employed in crystallography they represent a far more difficult subject and it is usually restricted to those persons such as geologist mineralogist and chemist those persons commonly use quantitative aspect of polarized light microscopy now this is the picture of a light microscopy uh, sorry polarizing microscopy and we can discuss each part the polarized light microscope it is designed by to observe and photograph specimens that are visible primarily due to their optically anisotropic character so anisotropic character i have told in each molecular axis their physical properties get changed and for observing such type of substances polarizing microscope is used so in order to accomplish this task because in each molecular axis they show different properties so uh, we we can, how could we observe those substances through microscopy so in order to accomplish this task the microscope must be equipped with two types that is uh, light path which are positioned in the light path that is those this microscope is equipped with both a polarizer polarizer which we can see in the bottom polarizer which is positioned in the light path light source is in the bottom etto adil ana light source varunathu adinte mollil ana polarizer vechittullathu the position in the light path somewhere before the specimen the specimen bifringent specimen da ivade aanu varunathu adinte mumbai itta ana polarizer ullathu and an analyzer is also present adu etto top il aanu varunathu it is placed in the optical path way between the objective rear aperture and the observation tubes or the camera port okay 
uh, and it is placed in between those analyzer okay ibade in kaanunnund analyzer idu simplified view aan so image contrast arises how interaction of the plane polarized light within a bifringent specimen bifringent nu parayumba double refraction refraction varu sadharana otta refraction alle kaanaarallo appo double refraction varunu adayathu specimens showing bifringent specimen or doubly refracting specimen to produce two individual wave components appo so, ivada ee plane polarized light idilude pass cheyumbo bifringent specimen vali pass cheyumbo rendu ait split cheyum onnu ordinary ray adutha the extra ordinary ray sight hmm? angane two individual wave components sight they are formed and that are each polarized in mutually perpendicular planes So, apa dinda velocity and set cah dana dua itu divide ini nanda ordinary and extraordinary wavefronts, which are different how they are differentiated within the propagation of direction through the specimen. Specimen nu portek berubah aed direction la ano, adine and set cah nana berda velocity nama lu velocity dirmani kita dum adine and set cah nene peri ordinary extraordinary nama lu parain nul. After exiting the specimen, specimen nu portek wandu ni nyalil. the light components becomes out of phase hmm? but are recombined and how with constructive and destructive interference interference ok nammle plus 2 physics il padichathu nanu thonu le constructive and destructive interference so when they are passing through analyzer appo the already analyzer vali pass cheyumba now they are combined with both constructive and destructive interference and these concepts are outlined in for the wave front as a result a wave front field is generated by a hypothetical bifringent yeah. specimen in addition the critical optical and mechanical components of a modern polarized microscope this is the critical and optical mechanical components that i am discussing so the polarized light microscopy now it, it is capable so i have already discussed principle now we can discuss another important points the polarized light microscopy is capable of providing information on the absorption color and optical path boundaries between the minerals of uh, differing refractive indexes in a manner similar to bright field in illumination but the technique can also differentiate between isotropic and anisotropic substances so this technique is mainly used to distinguish both isotropic and anisotropic substances isotropic means in different molecular axis they show same property anisotropic which doesn't show same property in each molecular axis the substances show different physical properties so we can uh, using this polarized light microscopy we it gets information about the optical path boundaries between the minerals of uh, differing refractive index so okay and furthermore the contrast image enhancing technique exploits the so in this polarizing microscopy we are also using contrast enhancing technique so it may exploits the optical properties which are specific to anisotropy and it helps to reveal what detail information if we are including contrast enhancing technique hmm, concerning the structure and composition of materials that are invaluable for the identification and diagnostic purpose so ipo nammal contrast enhancing technique use cheythu kanyal onnum kuda better aayittu namaku information kittu അപ്പൊ എന്താണ് ഐസോട്രോപ്പിക് എന്ന് പറയുമ്പോൾ ഏതൊക്കെ ടൈപ്പ് മെറ്റീരിയൽസ് ആണ് ഒബ്സർവ് ചെയ്യുക ഐസോട്രോപ്പിക് മെറ്റീരിയൽസ് വിച്ച് ഇൻക്ലൂഡ് വെറൈറ്റി ഓഫ് ഗ്യാസസ് ലിക്വിഡ്സ് അൺസ്ട്രെസ്ഡ് ഗ്ലാസസ് ആൻഡ് ക്യൂബിക് ക്രിസ്റ്റൽസ് ദേ ഡെമോൺസ്ട്രേറ്റ് സെയിം ഒപ്റ്റിക്കൽ പ്രോപ്പർട്ടീസ് വെൻ ദേ ആർ പ്രോബ് ഇൻ ഓൾ ഡയറക്ഷൻ അപ്പൊ ഈ മെറ്റീരിയൽസിന് ഒറ്റ റിഫ്രാക്റ്റീവ് ഇൻഡെക്സേ കാണത്തുള്ളൂ ആൻഡ് നോ റെസ്ട്രിക്ഷൻ on the vibration direction of light passing through the in contrast anisotropic materials lanengilo 
which include 90 percentage of all solid substances appo oru vidham 90 percentage il adhigam solid substances aan anisotropic materials il varunathu isotropically gases um liquids okke varunathu appo ivare optical properties nu parayumbodhu they vary with the orientation of incident light incident light nu anusarichu vary cheyyum edu molecular axis il aanu adin anusarichu properties um vary cheyyum within the crystallographic axis so they demonstrate avarum ee anisotropic substances um different range il ulla refractive index an exhibit ya depending on the propagation direction of light through the substance and on the vibration plane coordinates but more importantly anisotropic materials acts as a beam splitters and divide light rays into two orthogonal components appo adu kondanallo avada rendu type components aayithu split cheyidu the technique of polarizing microscopy exploits the interference of split light rays as they reunite along the same path to extract information about anisotropic materials so mainly it has an important application in geological science which focus primarily on the study of minerals in rock thin sections A wide variety of other materials can be examined in polarized light including both natural and industrial minerals cement composites ceramics mineral fibers polymer starch wood urea and a host of biological macromolecules and structural assemblies the technique can be used both qualitatively and quantitatively with success and is an outstanding tool for the material sciences especially geology chemistry biology metallurgy and even medicine so ee geology angathe dilakkeyana koodalum idinde use varunathu ini appo nammal oru vaadu polarizing inde principle okka parnu ini idinde basic properties of polarized light avundi parayam the wave model of the light describes light waves vibrating at right angles to the direction of propagation with all vibration directions being equally probable pangatha light nan endu paraya non polarized light or common white light adayathu ed wave ed light direction lum ella type vibrations um affect cheyyum adayathu Uh, the light rays vibrating at right angles adhaidu inna direction il inna property angana nilla ellathilkum it is equally probable angathe aanu non polarized white light in plain polarized light il anengi there is otta vibration direction e otta oru light il appo common uh, white light na anengi oru light ne oru baad endha paraya adile oru baad propagation of endha uh, paraya ഒരുവിധം ടൈപ്പ് വൈബ്രേഷൻസ് വരുന്നുണ്ട് നോൺ പ്ലെയിൻ പോളറൈസ്ഡ് ലൈറ്റിൽ ദർ ഇസ് ഓൺലി വൺ വൈബ്രേഷൻ ഡയറക്ഷൻ പിന്നെ ദ ഹ്യൂമൺ ഐ ബ്രെയിൻ സിസ്റ്റം ഹാസ് നോ സെൻസിറ്റിവിറ്റി ടു ദ വൈബ്രേഷൻ ഡയറക്ഷൻസ് ഓഫ് ലൈറ്റ് അപ്പം നമുക്ക് നമ്മുടെ ബ്രെയിനിന് ഒറ്റ വൈബ്രേഷൻ സെൻസ് ചെയ്യാനുള്ളതേ ഉള്ളൂ നോ സെൻസിറ്റി ടു വൈബ്രേഷൻ ഡയറക്ഷൻസ് ഓഫ് ലൈറ്റ് ആൻഡ് ദ പ്ലെയിൻ പോളറൈസ്ഡ് ലൈറ്റ് ക്യാൻ ഓൺലി ബി ഡിറ്റക്റ്റഡ് ബൈ ഇൻറ്റൻസിറ്റി ഓർ കളർ ഇഫക്റ്റ് for example by reduced glare when wearing polarized sunglasses polarized light is commonly produced by adsorption of light having a set of specific vibration di- uh, directions in dichroic media certain natural mi- minerals such as tourmaline possess this property and uh, okay any device capable of selecting plain polarized light from the natural white light is now referred to as a polar or polarizer padana nammal idile use cheyidunna microscope adayathu ee polarized unpolarized light il ninnu otta plain polarized light select cheyanaanu nammal polarizer use cheyidunnu careful pin adu pole thana very important karyam chal careful specimen preparation is essential for good results in polarized light microscopy the method chosen will depend upon type of material study in geological application standard thickness is 25 to 30 micrometers specimen can be ground down 
with diameter impregnated beads and has fine finished to 